Hey guys, welcome to Silicon Valley Girl and welcome to San Jose. Today I'm gonna show you how robots are replacing humans in our daily life, how they're replacing different professions and I'm gonna show you those robots. So if you're interested, continue watching this video. mission to find the robot I just asked the information guy I was like where's the robot and he's like but he's a robot he decides himself where to go he told me that I have the best chances if I go to the luxury section because this is where he likes to work so let's do it let's find him works as a security guard in a San Jose shopping mall. He detects animalities and calls the police if necessary, but he wouldn't use force against the intruder. By the way, it's cheaper to have this robot instead of a real human in the Bay Area, because you're gonna pay around $6,000 a month to have a robot patrol your backyard or office 24 seven. He's on duty. Am I getting busted for the camera? <laughs> <laughs> you can press the button to call the police. He has all the sensors, so kids can safely play with him. When one of these bots recently detected a suspected thief attempting to steal company's laptops late at night, humans were still really much involved. So the bot politely asked the guy to leave, but then alerted the security, security came and apprehended the individual. So when it comes to fixing a problem, you still need real people. But I'm still so fascinated by the change happening around us. Just imagine, 15 years ago, iPhones didn't exist, and today we have robots working as security guards. It was great meeting you. Thank you so much for taking part in my vlog. Bye. <laughs> Bye. New day, new robot. There is Cafe X in San Francisco where robots serve you coffee. We're gonna go in and try out whether it's tastier than a human-made coffee. I'm gonna get you latte. Yeah? Yeah. You want that? It's relatively cheap. It's uh, cheaper than Starbucks. Your name and my service. <laughs> Thank you, dear Robert. Um, nine for eight. This is my coffee. Oh, no, it's not matcha. Have a good day. Thank you. Drink number one for you and drink number two. Bye bye. <laughs> so we got matcha latte and we got one coffee latte. Three takeaways. First, it's cheaper than a famous coffee brand cafe. Second, there are no lines. Like it's basically empty. Third, the robot works fast and smooth. Highly recommend it. Alright guys, now we're gonna try a burger made by a real robot. The cafe is called Creator and it's right in the heart of San Francisco. One of my followers, he works across the street. It's his second time having lunch here. So it's a reality for people who live in San Francisco to have their lunch prepared by a robot. A human being, a girl, approached us and collected payment, uh, but the rest is done by a robot. First impression, it's very evenly cut, especially the onion. Very even. Look at it. Look at the cheese. So even. It's good. But the rest looks regular to me. 
The burger tasted like an ordinary burger and it was made by a robot and this is another reminder for us human beings to work on our creativity in the next five to ten years because robots can make burgers, they can safeguard our territories and offices, they can make coffee, but they cannot be creative yet. <laughs> he said he's seen my YouTube video yesterday. <laughs> Which is great. We're on our way to Amazon Go, cashierless shop, and guess what? There's another Cafe X just standing in the street and serving coffee. Now we're gonna go to a shop that has no lines and no checkout, Amazon Go. I know guys, I've already shown you Amazon Go in one of my vlogs, but today I'm here with my mom and she just arrived from Russia and we don't have anything like this in Russia. So we're gonna see her reaction, how she reacts to a shop with no cashiers at all. I am ready, let's go. Hi, welcome to Amazon Go. Hi. <laughs> So basically now you can grab whatever you want, they're going to charge you automatically. Taking this, putting it into my pocket, that's it, ice cream. I needed batteries, but man, this is so expensive. Eight batteries for eight dollars. No way. I'll just order them on Amazon, sorry. I just bought uh, gum. It's already in my pocket for Dima's dad, because uh, he's in Russia, we don't have a uh, tree dent in Russia, he really likes it. I was like, I'm going to Russia in a week. It's going to be really funny if I come to Russia and just do that, like put everything in my pocket, in the shop. I will get arrested straight away. It's not a shop where you will do your daily grocery shopping, but some items are cheaper than Woodlands, and Woodlands is the grocery store that we have next to my house. And um, of course, on a weekly basis, I will go to Costco or like farmer's market and do my shopping. This is a great alternative to, you know, your uh, convenience store. Thank you. No problem, thank you. That was it. No checkout. No really lines. Nothing. Just walk out. We're ready. They're gonna bill me automatically for everything that's in my pockets and for everything that's in her bag. She was together with me and I scanned my app to get her in. That was it. Do you like it? Yeah. Very interesting for me and no understand what it works. Wow. How it works. Wow. Do you want this to be in uh, Russia? No. <laughs> Why? No, not for Russian people. You think they're gonna trick the, the, the shop? <laughs> <laughs> that was it from my mom, that was it from her English. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this vlog up to the very end. Please comment down below what is the next activity do you think is going to be automated in the next five years. Comment down below. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, hit subscribe and like this video. Uh, if you meet me in the streets of San Francisco, come by, say hi. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching up to the very end. I'll see you soon. Bye.